Hey, Brandon, just a reminder that I'm getting discharged tomorrow at 4 p.m. Make sure you don't forget to come and pick me up. You'd think I'd forget something important like that? I'll be there, no worries. Today is Molly's last chance to come visit me in the hospital. I've been eagerly waiting for her to visit, you know? Why haven't you brought her here yet? You'll get to see her tomorrow, so what's the problem? Wouldn't it be better to take it easy and rest? We're gonna have a lot going on soon. That's true. Our lives are about to get crazy busy now that we've got two kiddos to handle. Molly mentioned that she's gonna take care of Joy once we bring her home. How sweet is that? It seems like she's already become an older sister. It seems like it, right? Speaking of her, how's she been holding up without me at home? It's only been a few days, but it feels like I haven't seen her in ages. She's doing great. Her teacher actually mentioned how she was all excitedly talking about how her little sister is going to be born. I see. She's really responsible for her age, isn't she? She's only in second grade. I feel like she might want to be spoiled a little bit more. And she's allowed to be, right? She doesn't have to act like an older sister yet. That just goes to show that you've done a great job raising her. Even though she's still young, she's polite and well-mannered. You don't have anything to worry about. I suppose that's true. I'm probably fortunate to be concerned about something like this. I'm worrying about our child being too well-behaved. <laughs> I guess we just have to trust her. My mind has been all over the place with the baby and Molly. By the way, I totally forgot to remind you. Did you assemble the baby crib and get everything prepared? We need to have everything's ready and sorted before I return. Yeah, of course. How could I forget? Our baby is coming back home. Everything's perfect. Oh my god, Brandon! We would have been in big trouble if we both forgot about it. Hey, Brandon, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for everything you've done this past week. I want you to know that I truly appreciate it. Even though we're in for some crazy days starting tomorrow, I can't wait for the excitement. <laughs> That's so true. The baby is bound to cry at night. We'll have to feed her and stay awake during those late hours. No doubt we'll be sleep deprived for a while. How thrilling though. <laughs> I feel you. It's already giving me a headache. <laughs> but hey, don't stress too much about it. You'll have work to handle, so don't overexert yourself, all right? We're in this together. Ah, uh, speaking of which, I remember you being super busy before I went into labor. I was actually quite concerned about you, since you were away most of the time. How's your job going? Has it eased up a bit? I hope taking care of Molly wasn't too overwhelming for you. Nah, taking care of Molly is the least I can do for us, so no need to worry about that. Plus, it's only been a week, so not much has changed, you know? I know, the first few months might be a bit challenging, but my mom also offered to come and assist us if we run into any difficulties or if we need some time alone. I have a feeling we'll be all right. From Molly's time, I know you'll be able to overcome anything. You've done a great job, and I'm sure you'll do as great this time. It sounds like you're making it all about me. <laughs> but hey, let's not forget that it's not just me putting in the effort. We're in this together, both working hard. Ugh, my bad, duty calls. I gotta go feed the baby. I'll catch up with you later. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Brandon? What the hell is going on? Why didn't you come to pick me up like you promised? I had to take a taxi home. Why am I returning to an empty house? What the hell is happening? Why is our home completely stripped bare? I've been meaning to tell you, but there just wasn't good timing. What? What the heck is going on? I need an explanation right now. I don't know how to say this, but we no longer live there. I can see that obviously with how our home is. That's not what I'm asking. So tell me, where did we move and where the heck are you? I can't tell you that right now. What do you mean you can't tell me where you are? Why can't you tell me? What are you hiding? What about Molly? Is Molly with you? Yeah, Molly's with me. She's here safe and sound, so don't worry. I need you to come back home right now. I'm here alone with the baby. At least give me the address of where you guys are. Charlotte, I want a divorce. Wait, what? I don't understand. Where's this all coming from suddenly? You know, I've been pondering this for a while now. I want us to have a fresh start, a whole new life. I'll be taking care of Molly, so I'll be living with her from now on. You can have the baby, all right? I'll give you joy, and you'll get to raise her. I don't understand why you want to divorce all of a sudden. Did I do something wrong? Was there something you didn't like? I thought we were doing well. It's not about you or what you did. You didn't do anything wrong. It's me. It's all on me. I think you'll be better off without me. What do you mean, it's all on me, and that I'll be better off without you? I had a good life with you and our child. Don't tell me you met someone and you want to be with her. Well, it's something like that, I guess. What do you mean? You guess it's something like that. I don't understand at all. So, were you having an affair? Since when? Is that why you were coming back home late all the time? And here I thought you were so busy with work. 
I swear, we're not in a relationship, and it's not like I was having an affair. It's just me that has feelings for her. What about Molly? What made you think it was okay to take Molly away from me? You talk as if she's yours. Molly's also my daughter. Anyhow, this isn't going to do it. I want to discuss this with you once. In person. I'm not going to meet up with you or talk about this anymore. I've already made up my mind. Fine, we can discuss about us later, but let me meet with Molly once. Ugh, seriously? That's a terrible idea, and I don't think it's going to happen. Knowing you, you'll probably throw a fit and demand her back. Listen up, I've made up my mind and it's final. So don't even bother trying to change my feelings about this. You're the one who took her away without my consent in the first place. What gives you the right to do this? Seriously, Brandon, this is BS. Give her back to me. See, I knew it was going to be like this. That's why I didn't want to meet with you in person. We have two kids now. Doesn't it make sense to just share them? One parent takes one child each. We both get a child. It's perfect. Don't you dare talk about them like they're some object. This isn't like a cake where we can just cut in half and share. They're our children. I can't believe you're talking about them like this. Just as I expected, you're getting all worked up and emotional. That's precisely why I can't let you see Molly. Look, why don't you move out of our old house first? It's a mess from all the moving, dusty and all. It's definitely not a suitable place to keep a newborn for a long time. Why don't you go back to your parents' place instead? They were eager to help, so they'll probably be thrilled. Oh, and your old stuff is in the storage room I rented. When you get a chance, go clean it out, all right? I left the divorce papers and the key to the storage room in the mailbox. Give me a heads up once you've cleared out the storage so I can cancel the payment. Wow. You seriously thought this through, didn't you? Planned and prepared everything while I was in the hospital. You're seriously the worst person ever. Yeah, it must be confusing for you. Once you sign the divorce papers, you can just submit it yourself. I'll contact you again to talk about child support. I beg you, Brandon, before I submit the divorce papers, please let me meet with Molly Munz. I want to talk with Molly properly. I don't want to separate with her like this. I need to know that she's doing okay. I need to see her with my own two eyes. Who is this? What? Brandon, this is you, right? Daddy's asleep right now. Daddy, wait, Molly, is it you? Yep, it's me. It's Mommy. How have you been? Is everything all right? Are you doing okay? Oh, I missed you so much. Where did you go with your daddy without telling Mommy? Molly, Mommy really misses you and wants to see you. Stop lying. Who are you? I know you're lying because Mommy already died. What do you mean? Died? Who told you that? Molly, Mommy is here and alive. Daddy said that Mommy isn't here anymore. Daddy said Mommy went to heaven. That's what Daddy said to you? That's not true. Mommy's here and alive. Mommy's missed you so much. Mommy? Are you really Mommy? Mommy, I miss you so much and I want to see you. Molly, are you home with Daddy right now? Do you know where your new home is? Um, I don't know where this is. Since we moved houses, I don't know. Do you see anything that catches your eye? Oh, right. What about your school? You haven't changed schools yet, right? Daddy said I don't have to go to school for a little bit. And the new mommy said she's going to take me to show me to my new school soon. Has daddy introduced you to someone as your new mommy? Yep. Since mommy isn't here with us anymore, daddy brought me a new mommy. But I actually want to be with you, mommy. Daddy's face becomes scary when I talk about you, mommy. And I want to see my little sister. I've been waiting for her for so long. I'm going to make sure you get to see your little sister. We both want to see you so much. You know what? I'll come pick you up right now. Really, mommy? Molly, is daddy asleep? Can you leave the house alone if he is? Is the new mommy also there with you? The new mommy is sleeping with daddy right now. So I can go outside alone, mommy. Good girl. Can you get a piece of paper and a pencil? Write the phone number that mommy is going to tell you right now, okay? Do you know if there's a police station close by? Yep. I know where the police station is. Good. You're such a smart girl. Carefully go to the station and then when you get there, show the police officer the memo you wrote down, okay? And mommy will come pick you up right away. Charlotte, give me back Molly. I beg you, please. It's already been a week since I last saw her. She belongs to me. Did you forget that she's also my daughter? Yeah, but she's also my daughter. We've decided that I'm going to keep her, remember? What's wrong with you? Kidnapping your child. You could have at least told me. Don't you think you're being too greedy? 
you also have joy. Brandon, it's not even about that. It's not like everything's okay since I have one of them with me. And did you forget that you took Molly away from me in the first place? Why can't you just let it go already? I get that you want to keep Molly with you, but I also do. She has been living with me fine, so what's the issue? You know I love Molly so much. Can't you just let me have her? You have baby Joy with you. Don't you think it's fair for me to raise and take care of Molly? We both get a child each. The best way to solve this is to hear Molly's opinion. Or are you afraid that she's going to choose me? Since you selfishly lied to her saying I died, couldn't you have at least said a better lie? You separated her while I was in the hospital. Don't you remember? Which one of us is actually the crazy one, Brandon? Don't tell me I kidnapped her when you did it to me first. I thought this was the best way for Molly to get over you, Charlotte. Why does she need to get over me? Because you have a new mommy for her? A new mommy? What are you talking about? Oh my god, don't tell me you actually believe what Molly said to you about the new mom. That woman is someone I had hired as a nanny, so that Molly won't be lonely without her mom. You really think I'm that unaware? That I'm so dumb that you can keep lying to me about all this? You said that you weren't having an affair with another woman. That it wasn't mutual. That you just had feelings for her and nothing else. Well, it seems like you were already in a relationship with her while I was pregnant. Did you not want to pay alimony that bad? Or was it that you were afraid you weren't going to have the upper hand if we were to discuss custody? You should be ashamed of yourself. The least you can do is own up to what you did. I didn't have an affair. Do you even have any evidence of what you're talking about? You're just making things up so that I look bad. Do you actually think I wasn't doing anything this past week? Did you think I was just sitting there letting time pass by? I hired a private detective, and I requested a background check on you. I already received the results, and boy was I surprised. It showed that you had an affair way before I got pregnant. You two were going on dates together. You seemed so relaxed and like you were having so much fun. And here I was, devastated each day, not knowing where Molly was or if she was even safe. You must have enjoyed your time with her. Life sure must have been nice. What? You actually hired a private detective for this? You're crazy. When else would be a perfect time to hire a private detective? When I say I will do anything, I really will do anything if I can get evidence that you were having an affair. It was obvious that the relationship has been going on for a long time. We're not even officially divorced and you're already living with her? Telling mommy she's her new mom? You even went to go meet her parents and introduced yourself as a single father. Imagine how I felt finding out all of this. Charlotte, I beg you, please give me back Molly. No matter how many times I begged you, you didn't let me meet Molly. So why should I? You think you can just meet her because you want to? I hope you know you have no right to see her and I'm not obligated to respond to you. You don't understand how desperately we need Molly. Oh, is it because she can't have a child? Wait, what? How did you know about that? Maybe you shouldn't be talking so loud out in public if it's something you don't want others to know. I'm over this. Over you? Over our marriage? I hope you're happy with what you did to us. If you want to remarry that person you're with, go ahead and do so. But don't involve us in your plan. FYI, Molly's saying that she wants to live with me. She has her baby sister with her here and she likes it. Stop lying. I know she wants to live with me. She was happy before you came and took her away. She always tells me she loves me. Yeah, of course she loves you. You are her father after all. But don't you remember what you told her? You lied to her that her mom had died all of a sudden. And then all of a sudden she's introduced to a new person as her mom? Not only that, you told her you got her a new mom for her? Are you satisfied with how much you hurt her feelings? I didn't do anything to hurt her feelings. She and I both poured so much love into her. Enough to fill your position at least. Then why is it that Molly doesn't want to separate from me? She's literally making sure I'm here all the time. She told me that she missed me so much while she was away from me. She even cries at night, telling me that she doesn't ever want to be away from me. She hasn't been bedwetting for a long time, but she now even wets the bed. And it's been happening frequently. Do you know how much you hurt her? She does? Of course you're surprised to hear this. She behaved so well, and now this is what's happening? Are you happy now? This is all on you. All because you changed her life so suddenly. Why shouldn't she be shocked? She's only in second grade! Okay, fine. I won't do anything without telling you or her anymore. So just, I beg you, please let me meet with Molly. Just once a week would be fine. I'll make sure that Molly will get used to her little by little. 
So, what you're saying is once Molly gets used to her, you want to take Molly's custody? Well, we have two daughters, don't we? Isn't it okay to just ask for one of them? I don't think I'm asking for a lot. She and I can't have a child together. You already know this. Wow. I don't even know what to say. You're crazy. What do you mean? You're not asking for a lot? Stop using Molly. She's not an object you can just take and toss around. How many times do I have to repeat myself for you to understand? Even though we have two kids, they're two different people. They are a whole that can't just be cut in half, and we can each have one. I'm not going to give you two her custody. You obviously don't respect her as a person. You're just using her for your happiness. Why can't I have her custody? I'm begging you so much. I've been so patient with you. We spent such a long time as husband and wife. You can't even grant me this much. You should know that I also love Molly and I've been taking care of her well. Why can't you believe me? If you actually cared about Molly, how can you lie to her face telling her that I died? And don't forget that after all those years being with you as husband and wife, it ended with you betraying me by having an affair. How do you expect me to believe in a man like that? Why should I believe you when you don't even give me the chance to? There's not a single thing you said that made me feel like you have the right to live with her. I swear we'll take good care of Molly. She already cares about her so much. I swear, I swear on my life. Please let us raise Molly. This isn't going anywhere. I don't want to talk to you anymore. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. Why? You really won't be settling this peacefully without getting others involved? Don't you think you're taking this too far? I'm not asking for much. All I'm asking is to let me live with my daughter. What do you mean by taking it too far? If she's so precious to you, don't you want to do this officially? But it's obvious that a mother has an upper hand when it comes to child custody. I want Molly to live where she wants to live, not where we want her to live. If Molly says she wants to go to live with her dad, then I would obviously be sad. But I want to and will respect her decision. Don't make such a small child decide this. She obviously won't be able to make a clear decision. Even if she ties, she wants to live with you. That's fine with me. I just want the both of you to know that if she wants to come back to me, she can always come back to me. I think the only way this will end is to prioritize her feelings. What about you? If Molly decides that she wants to be with her sister and live with me, are you still going to try to take her away to live with you? Well, I just want to live with her. Fathers don't have the upper hand for a child's custody. The mother has a better chance, so it wouldn't be fair anyway. See? At the end of the day, you're all about yourself. It's all about you. You keep ignoring her feelings. You keep pushing what you think is best for her, even though she's only in second grade. She's aware of what's going on. She has feelings, you know. She can feel the anger or the stress from the way we act or talk. Of course I know that. I'm not dumb. No, you don't understand that. That's why you were able to do such horrible things to her. I beg you, please. We want to raise a child that's mine, that's related to me. I don't want to adopt a child to raise. Please, this is our only hope. You don't want to be that person to take that away from us. What I'm saying is don't sacrifice Molly to be your only hope. She doesn't have to take all that burden. How many times do I have to repeat that for you to understand? Are you that dumb? This just proves that you don't have the right to raise a child. You guys are only thinking about yourselves. As you wish, I'll sign and submit the divorce papers. But when it comes to the custody of our child, let's fight in court, fair and square. I don't have any plans to settle this without my lawyer. We both decided to hire a lawyer and we ended up going to court to fight for child custody. However, the fact that he lied to our child, saying I had passed away, and of course, also having an affair and then taking our child away without saying anything became an issue. A verdict had been reached and it was decided, thankfully, that I will be having the custody of both our children. My ex-husband and his girlfriend were devastated at the results. To add on to that, an alimony was requested, which resulted to her parents finding out that they were actually having an affair. I got full custody of both my daughters, and supposedly they ended up breaking up after a few months. My ex-husband sent a full detailed account of what happened after. I don't even know why he thought he should tell me. Obviously, I deleted it right away. Unfortunately, I can't block his number since we are still in the process of discussing the details of child support, but I don't plan on keeping in touch with him regarding anything else. He paid me alimony and lost everything. And of course, he's paying for child support for our two daughters every month, which probably isn't easy for him. He came crying back to me, saying that the affair was just a temporary thing and it didn't actually mean anything. 
and makes me wonder if he's ever thought of my feelings and our daughter's feelings that he walked all over. I'm really glad that I have no regrets whatsoever, even though I ended up getting a divorce. Ever since all that, I've been living as a single mother and life has been pretty hectic. Raising two kids alone isn't easy. After the divorce, I moved back to my hometown. I'm really only getting by with the support of my parents. With everything that happened, I didn't know how I would get by. But it turns out I'm much happier now. I plan to go back to work once my younger daughter turns one. Until then, I'm hoping to spoil both of them as much as I can. I'm receiving child support. And since I got plenty of alimony, at the end of the day, it worked out perfectly since I don't have any financial worries and get to spend time with the people I love. Although it's not easy and there are struggles that I face every day as a single mother, I feel grateful for all the support I'm getting from my friends and family. I plan to pour all the love I have and to raise them to be polite and honest people.